Hey there, welcome to this Yoga for Boxing class. My name is Kolly, thanks for joining. Hope you're doing really well today. Uh, we're going to do a kind of short and sweet class here that's going to focus on releasing a little bit of tension in the body uh, where you might be feeling it a lot after some boxing. So neck, shoulders, muscles in the back. Um, we'll also focus on strengthening up a little bit too. So strengthen the muscles outside the hip, uh, outside the hips. Um, probably strengthen up the shoulders as well. Um, all you need is a mat. We're not actually going to use this guy today, but um, all you need is a mat. We're going to start in a seated position, so make yourselves comfortable. Uh, I recommend the easy pose, crossing your legs, but if you prefer to, just stick the legs out in front of you, whatever's, whatever feels good. Um, but before we get moving, take a moment just to find a little bit of stillness. You can think about closing your eyes once you're comfortable, if you would like to. And take a moment just to kind of ease into this class, a transition into it from whatever you were doing previously. Taking a, a nice few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Might be nice to release a little bit of tension. Uh, and as you close the eyes, allow your attention just to kind of soak and settle into your body. So noticing perhaps how your shoulders are feeling. If there's any tension there, go ahead and soften them up. Relaxing the skin on your face, relaxing your hands. And just noticing where your head is at, where your mind is at. If it is at all kind of elsewhere or busy, just take a moment to really kind of sharpen up your focus. Make sure your attention is, is here rather than anywhere else. And your best uh, kind of catalyst of doing that is perhaps thinking about your breathing. It's taking your attention to the breath and starting to tune into it. Start to notice both your inhale and your exhale. I'm gonna start it again. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to this Yoga for Boxing class. My name's Kolly. Hope you're doing really well today. Uh, we're going to do a kind of short and sweet class, which is going to focus on releasing some tension that you might be feeling in your body from boxing. Talking about neck and shoulders, muscles in the back. We'll do a little bit of side bending as well to hopefully create some space in the upper body. Um, but not just stretching, we'll find some strength as well. So muscles outside the hips, uh, probably strengthen up the shoulders too. Uh, we won't actually be using this, this guy today. All you need is a mat. So uh, go ahead and make yourselves comfortable in a uh, seated position. I recommend cross-legged, easy pose. Uh, but if you would prefer to, you could just stick the legs out. Whatever feels good for you. And we'll take just a moment uh, here, finding a bit of stillness before we get the body moving. Just to uh, transition into the class. Take a step back from whatever you were doing previously. And start to fine tune your focus a little bit. Start to direct it in towards your body. Uh, you may want to take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. You might even close the eyes and just allow 30 seconds or so to really start to notice how your body feels. Any kind of tension in the shoulders, the face, think about trying to soften those areas up. And relax, take your time to observe as the body and the mind slows down a little bit. And if you notice that your head or your mind is anywhere else, if it's elsewhere, just think about tucking it back in towards um, your body. And your best bet is to focus on your breathing. So maybe take your attention to both your inhale and your exhale. See if you can keep your attention on the breath for the, for the next minute or so. Just paying attention to how it feels to breathe. Notice how it feels in the nose, the back of the throat. Notice how it feels in the chest, the ribs, the belly. 
and just see if you can take maybe four or five slightly deeper and slightly softer breaths see if you can find a where the inhale and the exhale are similar length and the breath feels nice and calm and let's see if we can keep it that way throughout the class when you're ready just gently blinking open your eyes let's take it towards our all fours we'll come onto our hands and our knees and we'll straight away get into the shoulders we're going to pop the bum up onto the heels interlock your fingers behind your back and let's fold over our legs so the chest allow it to fall onto your thighs taking your forehead and relaxing it onto the ground we're going to sweep the arms up into the air coming into a rabbit pose and you may want to kind of go quite wild with the arms sweeping them up and over your head go with whatever feels good just to generate a little bit of heat around the shoulders you may even want to roll onto the crown of your head and come onto the toes and really go for it with the arms sweeping them up over your head don't forget to breathe whilst you're here just notice how this feels before gently coming out of it just reverse what you did let's take the hands onto the ground and we'll straight away come into our downward facing dog by placing the hands on the mat toes on the ground lift the knees suck in your tummy as you lift your hips really nice and high allow your head to drop and whilst we're here in our downward facing dog start to pedal your feet out and bring some heat into the muscles on the backs of your legs so keeping one leg straight bend the other knee quite a lot do the same thing on the other side you can do it as, as many times as you want go quick go slow with it before taking some steps towards your hands and we'll come to the front of the mat continuing to get into the shoulders so bend your knees put a lot here allow your chest to smother your thighs interlock your fingers again round the back go ahead and sweep your arms up on over the head allow your head to feel nice and heavy might be nice to take a little swing from side to side could start again just to kind of bend one knee straight in the other leg play around with it go with wherever feels good for you before relaxing your hands down to the ground and very gently slowly uncurling to a standing pose I want you to lift the arms above the head and we'll grab hold of the right wrist with the left fingertips enjoying a side bend from here leaning over to the left creating a nice big banana shape with your body come back up to center change grip and head over to the right this is where we're really creating some nice length down the side of the upper body before coming back to center relax your hands down by your sides and let's forward fold so we'll take a breath in lifting the arms up as you exhale forward fold hinging at your hips bend the knees as much as you need from here hands on the shins lift up your chest flatten out your back and then go ahead and drop your hands and step or jump back to your plank position so a high plank shoulders above the wrists you want to make sure your fingers are nice and wide squeeze pretty much everything so glutes core pushing with the hands to find space in between your shoulder blades kick your heels away from you when you're good to go down let's drop the knees and the chest and the chin all the way down relax the top of your feet enjoy a cobra by lifting the chest up as you press down with your hands take as long as you need here before heading back to your downward facing dog so just push yourself back let's come forward to that high plank position again shoulders coming above the wrists gaze slightly forwards drop knees chest and chin enjoy a cobra again so we're lifting the chest as we press with our hands and our feet and then make your way back to your downward facing dog one more time come forward slowly shoulders above wrists drop knees chest and chin and then breathe in as you lift your chest up and you might want to take a little bit longer this time really feeling your core stretch out look left look right give the shoulders a roll notice how the back feels and then push yourself back to your downward facing dog where we'll take a moment to think about the alignment you might want to look at your hands make sure your fingers are wide hands are kind of shoulder width 
look at your feet and make sure that they are hip width make sure your feet are straight relax your head soften the skin on your face and take a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through your mouth when you're ready lifting the right leg up towards the ceiling as you breathe in take the gaze forwards let's look in between our hands and try and step there now if your foot doesn't make it just shuffle it forwards first and then lift the arms above the head so we're pressing with both feet on the ground to lift up squeeze your thighs together coming into a high lunge and we'll open it out to a warrior two from here so back foot going down arms going nice and wide making sure that your right knee is above the right ankle you want to go as deep as you can into your hips so the right thigh is kind of parallel to the ground arms symmetrical take the gaze over your right hand don't forget to breathe from here we're going to interlock fingers behind the back we'll shuffle the right foot all the way out towards the right breathe in to puff up the chest and then as you exhale humble warrior right shoulder just inside the right thigh so again just continuing to get into the shoulders you want to sweep up and over with the arms notice the back leg here so we really want to press down quite hard on the little toe of that left foot meanwhile right knee stays above the right ankle relax your head you might be looking up a little bit see if you can relax your head all the way down and then gently lower your hands down onto the mat and then lower your left knee down as well shuffle your right foot back into the middle and then draw your bum back as you straighten out your right leg half splits nice kind of deep stretch into the hamstrings you can point your toes towards your face as you foot flex your foot and then roll forward step back to your plank again drop knees chest chin all the way down inhale to a cobra enjoy it take your time and then push back to your down dog let's do the same thing on the other side so left leg slowly goes up gaze forwards try and find that space to step into again if the foot doesn't make it just shuffle it forwards and then squeeze your thighs together engage your core as you lift your arms up take the back foot down as your arms go wide warrior two you want to lightly gently kind of push your shoulders or draw them towards each other again notice left knee make sure it's above the left ankle you may even want to nudge it towards the little toe of your left foot if your left thigh is externally rotating let's find our humble warrior on this side so interlock fingers take the left foot all the, way to the, all the way out to the left breathe in to puff up your chest find height and then as you exhale we're taking that height that length in the upper body all the way down so on our arms to be sweeping up and over the head you want to think about your shoulders facing the front two corners of your mat and then your hips doing the same thing so if your bum is kicking out to the side draw it into the middle don't forget to breathe challenging pose before dropping your hands with control drop your right knee with control as well and then shuffle left foot into the middle let's enjoy uh, hamstrings on this side half splits got to be feeling something here you want to kick your left foot your left heel sorry away from you as you point your toes towards your face maybe lift up the chest and then roll forwards again let's take a step back to our plank every time you come into your plank kick both heels away squeeze glutes squeeze core and then drop knees chest chin all the way down inhale to a cobra and then exhale your, your way back to your downward facing dog take your time no rushing and you may want to pedal the feet out again just to kind of check in with how the muscles are doing on the backs of your legs notice your hands as well continue to press down really quite hard on them so fleshy bit at the base of your thumbs make sure you're pressing down quite hard on them when you're ready lifting the right leg up towards the ceiling let's take the gaze forwards and step in between our hands again arms coming up above the head find strength in your upper body to help with that this time we'll bring our hands to heart center and then take a step onto our right foot so a little bit of balancing warrior three kicking your left leg behind you so this is where we're going to think about strength in the hips so particularly outside of the right hip here you want to think about engaging it and then the left hip draw it down quite a lot if you can to flatten out your hips keep your gaze steady 
nice and locked into something on the floor or on the wall in front of you. You could challenge yourself by uh, extending your arms out in front if you wanted to. Before taking the left foot all the way to the back of the mat, and we'll sweep our arms wide into our warrior two again. So bend the right knee, look over your right hand. Let's flip the palm, reach nice and long with your right arm, and then reverse your warrior. So left hand, left thigh, right arm nice and straight. You can go a little bit deeper into the right knee, and then lift the right arm a little bit higher. Awesome stretch for the muscles in between your ribs. You may even, if you wanted to challenge yourself, tiptoes of the right foot, uh, left hand round the back for the bind, tucking your fingers into the right thigh, or upper body strength, lifting your left arm up to the ceiling. Could look up that way as well. And then when you're ready, just take your time to sweep your arms down to the ground, step back to your plank, and again, we'll drop knees, chest, chin, all the way down, inhale to a cobra, Exhale yourself, or exhale your way, all the way back to your downward facing dog. And as you get back into your dog, suck in your tummy, make sure your core is engaged. Relax your face. Take the left leg high and step in between your hands. Inhale as you lift the arms above the head. Exhale as your hands come to heart center. And let's go ahead and find that warrior three on this side. So almost starting with the gaze every time with any kind of balancing, you want to find one spot to lock your gaze into. Focus on your breath, keeping it nice and steady and slow. Maybe right foot is flexed here, so you're really kicking the heel to the back of the room. Imagine the crown of the head is extending to the front of the room. Could reach your arms forwards or take them wide this time, a little bit of difference, doing something different. Take them behind you. And then when you're ready, right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Let's sweep our arms wide into our warrior two. A little check-in, you may want to line up the left heel with the arch of your right foot. Relax shoulders. Let's flip the left palm on this side, reach forwards and then reach high. So there's a really kind of nice straight line uh, down the left arm and the left side of your upper body. Go a little bit deeper into the left knee, so there's a strong lunge in the left quads. And then you've got the option here, tiptoes left foot, right hand around the back, grabbing the inside of your right thigh, your left thigh, sorry, or right arm up. Whatever you did on the other side, think about doing it this side as well. And let's cartwheel our arms down with control. Take your time, step back to your plank, Let's drop knees, chest, chin, all the way down. And make sure it's a full inhale as you lift your chest. Open out your chest fully. Feel your collarbones broadly, broadly opening. And then push back all the way to your downward facing dog. Again, suck in your tummy, lift your hips nice and high as you return to this uh, downward facing dog. And we'll very slowly um, drop the left forearm down to the ground and then the right forearm down to the ground, finding some strength in the shoulders in our dolphin pose. So feel free to stay here. You can focus on the forearms being parallel, fingers being wide as the palms touch the ground, or maybe challenge yourself and nudge the feet in towards your elbows. Lifting the bum nice and high. Could even look towards your thumbs. And just notice the breath, see if you can smooth it out and soften it. Before very gently lowering your knees down to the ground. And we're gonna take a child's pose from here. We'll drop the bum onto the heels. You can keep your knees straight, your legs straight. Or maybe open them nice and wide. Whatever feels good for you. Take your arms out in front of you. Take your arms down by your sides. Again, just go with whatever feels good for your body. Try and relax the forehead down onto something. You may find that your um, hands could provide a decent pillow if the forehead doesn't quite make it to the ground. Wherever you are, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth.
And then if your arms are down by your sides, bring them forwards. Let's edge the fingertips all the way to the front of the mat. And we'll continue to get into the side body by walking our hands all the way over towards the left. You can keep your forehead down. And maybe take the right hand on top of your left hand. Notice your right sitting bone. Think about drawing it down. Come back to center. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So left hand on top of right hand. And again, just notice the opposite side here, that diagonal stretch. You want your left shoulder and your left sitting bone to be drawing down to the ground. Take your time to really breathe into whatever it is you feel from the stretch. Try and release a bit of tension with the exhale. And we'll come back into center with the hands. And we'll find a little puppy pose with a focus on the triceps. So we'll keep the, uh, the bum and the hips nice and high. Walk your hands all the way out towards the front of your mat. So go as long and as far as you can go. And then gently lower your chin to the, ch uh, to the mat. Maybe allow your chest to go down to the ground. Now if your chin is comfortable, look forwards, place the chin on the ground. Or maybe if that is not comfortable or accessible, just relax the forehead down. You can kind of gaze down. Wherever you are, keep your bum and your hips nice and high. And this is where we'll uh, target the triceps. Bring your palms together, bend your elbows, and slide the arms and the hands up and over your head. Should feel pretty good on the triceps here. You can edge your elbows forwards. Take as long as you need with this one. Just releasing a little bit of tension in the arms. And we'll come back to our all fours position, take your time, coming back onto the hands and we'll lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Take it high and then slide your left hand underneath the right arm. We'll take the left shoulder onto the ground and thread the needle. Again, focus on the shoulders. So once the left shoulder is down, take your right arm towards the front right corner of your mat, relax your head. Take three or four deep breaths into the stretch in your left shoulder here. Try not to rush it, take as long as you need before coming back up to your all fours. And let's just roll straight into the same thing on the other side. So right hand up, try and find some length and then thread that length underneath so right shoulder goes down. And then you can just take your left hand wherever is comfortable for you. Relax the side of your face down onto the ground. Maybe even close your eyes and focus on the feeling. Whatever this uh, pose is, is giving you, wherever you can feel it the most, take your attention there. Maybe take the breath there and see if you can soften and release a little bit of that tension with your breath. Coming out of it with control, we'll come back to our all fours. Back to our downward facing dog, lift the bum and the hips high. Come to the front of your mat. You may want to take a little step. You may want to take a little jump. And once you get to the front, shuffle your feet together. Big toes touching, knees touching. Bend your knees and lift your arms up. And we'll find strength in our chair pose. So weight of the body is in the heels. You might want to look down at your feet. Make sure you can see all 10 toes. Even test yourself by lifting 10 toes up off the ground. Arms a little bit higher than where they already are. Breathe. Could look up towards your hands. Turn the little fingers in towards each other to broaden your back and your shoulders. Straighten out the arms. Relax the face. Hold it just a little bit longer. And then when you're good to release it, exhale to forward fold. So dropping the hands, dropping the head. Shuffle your feet hip distance apart. And we'll find a little gorilla pose to release some tension in the wrists. So bend your knees quite a lot. You can slide your right hand underneath the right foot. And then slide the left hand underneath the left foot. Covering your palms with your feet. So toes all the way up towards the wrists. Little squeeze, bit of a massage for the hands. Should feel pretty good on the wrists here. If this is completely inaccessible, just grab hold of the big toes with your uh, middle and index fingers. Whichever position you are in, you can think of really kind of straightening out your arms and rebending the elbows. Play around with it. 
You could start to straighten the legs as well if you want to target your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Before releasing your hands from your feet, um, we'll take uh, one final vinyasa before coming to a uh, seated position. So step back to your plank, drop your knees, your chest, your chin, all the way down. Inhale to a cobra. And just notice how the back is doing kind of last time that we've taken this movement. Hopefully you found a little bit of space, eased any tension that might be in there, and then push back downward facing dog and we'll step or jump from here to a seat so you want to just step forwards cross your feet cross your legs park the bum down and then straighten out your legs and we'll take a forward fold so with straight legs flex your feet point toes towards the ceiling you want to lift up the arms with the inhale breathe in and as you exhale bend your knees and then fold so chest kind of smothers the thighs i recommend really bending your knees quite a lot here just to find some space in your back so you can lean forwards spine lengthening towards your feet maybe look towards your toes rather than at your knees and breathe <laughs> might be nice to close your eyes see if you can just completely immerse yourself in whatever sensations are coming up from the pose before very slowly coming back up to a seat and we'll hover on down onto our backs again slower the better move with control relax the back of your head down on the ground you can bring the left knee towards your chest grab hold of it take your time to really squeeze the knee up towards your left armpit and you can probably feel this in the right hip flexors here you can point your right toes away from you to exaggerate that and keep the right hand on your left knee take your left arm out to the left and we'll enjoy a supine twist taking the knee over to the right maybe looking over towards your left hand if your left shoulder has come off the ground quite a lot and it's going with your left knee place it back down on the ground bring the knee back up and then keep the shoulder on the ground as you take your knee over to the right just as far as it goes should feel pretty good nice pose to really stretch out the glutes reconnect with the breath here two or three slow and deep breaths in and out of your nose before returning onto your back and let's just roll straight into it on the other side so right knee coming up take your time to squeeze the knee as high as you can go and then right arm and right elbow and right wrist take it all the way out towards the the right side as the left hand takes the knee over to the left you can straighten out your left leg here kick your heel away from you find length in your neck by shuffling your head away to the front end of the mat and then there's the gaze over to your right hand maybe nice to close the eyes just taking your time to check in with how this twisted position feels for your body try and soften the belly and again just taking your breath to those areas that might feel a little bit tense imagine your breath is like a little kind of flashlight and you're scanning through the body you might find certain areas a little bit tighter than others take the breath there breathe a little deeper there particularly with your exhale you can soften up those areas that need it Coming back to center, rolling onto the back. You can bring both knees to your chest. And grab hold of your knees, have a little roll around, massage your back out. You can take any last little movements here. Maybe movement into the hips, drawing some circles with your knees. You might want to take a happy baby. Knees going wide, feet going high. Grab the backs of your knees or grab the soles of your feet. 
before returning to center and we'll bring the knees together wrapping arms around the legs grab your elbows squeeze hug embrace curl up into a little ball maybe forehead to knees and knees to forehead see if you can hold it in a little bit tighter squeeze for a little bit longer and then when you're good to release sprawling your legs sprawling your arms and we'll find a comfortable place here in the best starfish looking shape you can make with your body relax the back of your head let it your elbows your wrists your ankles your knees let them all feel nice and heavy you can close the eyes and we'll take a very short moment here just to allow the body to slow down and really just to process what we've just done let everything soak into your body and see if you can find a bit of stillness in your body here physically and just take the time to really focus and pay attention to how you feel noticing even the slightest smallest of sensations and just making sure that the mind does not wander off too much just keeping your body still for a little bit longer start to deepen your breathing both inhale and exhale a little bit longer and start to bring gentle movements into your fingers and your toes just take as long as you need ankles and wrists full stretch with your body take your arms long and your feet long your legs long before rolling to one side and then lifting yourself back up to a seat where we began you can take as long as you need you may even want to stay in your shavasana pose a little bit longer to just enjoy the stillness otherwise one final moment here in a seated position perhaps maybe closing your eyes I'm just taking a few slow deep soft breaths in and out of your nose as you do so just paying attention to how all of that movement has made you feel physically mentally a little bit of a check-in before you leave before you finish taking the time to thank yourself for your practice thank you for joining me today nice one going to close your practice seal it and stay thanks so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed the class please feel free to have a little browse around the website check out the other videos on there there's going to be loads of other good stuff for your shoulders your neck your back um, strength stretch balance it's all there have a little look hope to see you soon take it easy